oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We all knew that this day was going to come, but the shit just got real. So Microsoft is really, really taking on Palantir and they're coming up with another competing platform to Palantir and they just released this video. I wanna go through it with you and then I wanna share my thoughts and what I think this means for Palantir. So as always, if you like this content, please make sure you hit the subscribe button that is down there. And if you wanna go even further and support the channel, get direct access to me, and to some exclusive content that is still in the making, then check out the Patreon link in the description box below. So let's begin the video. Supply chains are complex, very complex. To stay agile, global organizations need end-to-end -end visibility without replacing existing systems, actionable insights from real-time data, and seamless orchestration of business processes through one unifying platform. Introducing Microsoft Supply Chain Center, now in public preview. Let's dive in and see how it works. Meet Sanjana, a supply chain manager at Contoso, a global manufacturer and distributor of packaged coffee. She receives an alert on her supply chain center dashboard powered by the news module about a cyber attack that could impact her suppliers and disrupt her shipments. Diving deeper, she can see actionable insights like which orders from what suppliers could be impacted and the severity of the impact. Supply Chain Center also provides her with recommendations powered by AI to mitigate the disruptions. Sanjana acts on the recommendation to prioritize orders for her large customer accounts. She sees that by selecting this recommendation, she can meet a higher service level, but it does come at a higher cost. With just a click, she can send purchase orders to her suppliers from right within the Supply Chain Center, powered by Power Automate. She doesn't need to jump between different systems to manually update the POs, saving her time to focus elsewhere. Sanjana receives updates of production plans from her suppliers periodically and securely via the supplier portal. The Supply Chain Center uses this and the other data points to provide insights into potential stockouts, overstocking, and many more metrics in near real time. Melanie, the Northwind Roasters account manager, a coffee bean supplier for Contoso, uses the supplier portal to upload her production plan. After receiving it, Sanjana notices a massive supply coverage gap on her supply and demand insights dashboard. So Sanjana quickly investigates in the Supply Coverage Module Dashboard. From right in the dashboard, Sanjana can reach out to Melanie via the embedded Microsoft Teams chat to see if she has additional inventory on hand to bridge the supply gap. Melanie confirms that she has available inventory in excess and can expedite an order for the SKU that's falling short. This ability to collaborate with external suppliers in near real time using Teams and in the context of the insights is a game changer for Sanjana and Melanie. They're twice as productive now without dealing with delayed email replies and missed voicemails. After Sanjana places her order with Melanie, she tracks the shipment via CH Robinson's Navisphere Vision right inside the supply chain center. Two days later, Sanjana sees an alert via Navisphere Vision that a Contoso truck transporting coffee from Northwind Roasters has been delayed due to a breakdown. This will cause a four-day delay in the delivery to Contoso's warehouse. Because of the alert, she notifies the receiving warehouse of the delay and generates a new freight order from a different supplier. The new freight order is assigned to a carrier that can deliver on the originally requested delivery date, avoiding a potential major stockout. Once the shipment arrives, Sanjana uses the order management module to fulfill the order to her high-priority accounts, like Fabricamp. Sanjana uses the out-of-the-box connector to FedEx and sets up FedEx as a shipping carrier to deliver the order to her customers. Plus, she gains fulfillment insights so that she can continue to optimize the delivery to her customers efficiently, cost-effectively, and sustainably. With Microsoft Supply Chain Center, Sanjana can take complete control of her supply chain and deliver a delightful customer experience. She can get end-to-end -end visibility of her supply chain, generate AI-based recommendations, and orchestrate business processes to act on these recommendations seamlessly, all without having to replace her existing systems. Microsoft Supply Chain Center enables her to do more with less. Sign up for a free trial at aka.ms slash supply chain center. So I'm not going to lie to you as a Palantir investor. I got to change my pants because they have a little bit of brown on them. <laughs> so we all knew that this day was coming. We all knew that it's going to be a thesis tester when big giant decides to go after Palantir. The main suspects were Google, Microsoft, or Amazon, and Microsoft is actually at it. This is their second Palantir-like platform. They 
earlier this year came out with the i believe it was called the microsoft data platform this looks very effing compelling i saw first i heard this news via Coastrap's channel and he confirmed that this is in private beta it's not available he's going to try to test it and i want to interview him on the channel obviously i know all of you want to hear like if, how this is going to affect palantir but this is the real thesis test and we unfortunately just have to sit and wait and see what's happening the main fear of investor has been that another company can produce an 80% as good product as Palantir, but they have a much better or could have a much better distribution and they could totally outsell Palantir because of the distribution and they could have an 80% as good product that still does the job, but it's not as fancy and not as good. And this is exactly what we see here, that a company that has inferior products, nothing really that is a Microsoft product really excites me but there's so many people using them and most probably there's so many if you work in a supply chain so many of your suppliers already have different microsoft products and this will probably integrate very smoothly with it's like this compounding effect of you know the more people use it the better it is for everyone else to use it and the team's integration and you know that you don't need to change their platform so i'm not gonna lie it does look like this is a, a good product again no data out about it my guess is that this will be a packaged and ready to go product so this is not as custom made as palantir which would make palantir's offering a stronger offering for bigger companies that need a more tailored and self-made product and the microsoft product is more for smaller companies that have you know simpler supply chains but it does look like a very very powerful offering so as much as i would like to tell you we're all going to be okay we just have to wait and see and uh, i don't know what's happening and i gotta go and change my pants so i'll see you in the next video as soon as i can i'll bring you more information about this make sure you're subscribed and do well all right you see i'm already crying about palantir